Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to see what if Giannis Tanakupa was the best shooter in NBA history. Um, so the reason I really actually want to do this is because as we all know right now, Giannis is one of the best players in all of basketball, but he does it by attacking the paint. So I want to see like if he was open to shoot three pointers and made them at a very high rate, would his numbers really change? Like would he stop going to the basket? Um, or would he just continue to shoot threes? Or what, what would he do out there exactly? Like how would it affect his numbers? As Because as of right now, he's averaging about 26, 27 points per game. Um, so I'm curious if those numbers are going to change at all. Um, so for uh, system efficiency, I did put the team on pace and space to increase three-point opportunities, spread, uh, spread opposition defense, and there's also constant motion forces defensive mistakes. So, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. He's still got, like, Brooke Lopez out there, Chris Milton, Brogdon, um, Eric Bledsoe. All these guys are capable offensive players, so I, I assume Giannis would still take the shots out there. Um, I just don't know how much you attack the paint as opposed to shooting three-pointers. So here we go, guys. We are going to simulate this season. Um, because there is one point I really want to bring up when it comes to the three-point shot. And I believe it was Dom2K, another fellow YouTuber, uh, that said this. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was him saying that guys like Ben Simmons, we roast for not shooting three-pointers. Or like Giannis, we roast for not really being all that great at three-pointers. I don't know if we really roast Giannis about it. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things that's one of those what-ifs where it's like, okay, well, if he could knock down at like a solid 30 35 percent how much would that help his game which is why we're doing this video essentially um and we like we, we, we make fun of those guys for not shooting threes kind of being like afraid especially the case of ben simmons i mean there's videos all over the place about him just getting roasted about it but then we have guys like russell westbrook and this is not to flame on russell westbrook or anything along those lines um but when he comes to russell he does shoot his fair share of three pointers i believe he shoots like six or seven of them per game and he doesn't really knock like, like this season he's not really knocking them down at a high rate um so we kind of make fun of Russell Westbrook for shooting three-pointers despite not really being all that good at them. So kind of like, as NBA fans, is, is that just something when it comes to fandom out there, man, where it's just like, okay, no matter what you do, you just simply cannot make everybody happy? Because on one hand, we roast a guy that knows he's not good at threes, Ben Simmons, for not shooting threes. But then we roast Russell Westbrook for not really being all that great at threes, but shooting a lot of them. So I guess what is exactly that we want as NBA fans? I don't necessarily have the answer to that question. I mean, I will say, the, the the league we are in, I feel like to be an extremely successful team, you gotta be able to shoot the three ball at a high rate. And that doesn't necessarily mean your star player has to do it. Just you you need that on your team in general. So I will say when it comes to guys like 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 Giannis shoots about I don't know, man. I think he's shooting like one or two a game right now. Uh just to somewhat try to keep the defense honest. I think he yeah, shoot about ten uh two per game at about 17%. Um, but like in the case of Ben Simmons, he just had a game where he had like 21 points, 20 rebounds, and like nine assists, and that was without shooting three balls. So I don't know, man. I, I feel like it's the general manager and the owner's job to put the right players around your stars of your team. And if your stars don't necessarily want to shoot threes or excel at that, then I think that's probably the best way to go is not force them to do so. I mean, Giannis is the highest scoring points and paint score in the entire NBA. So it's like he knows what he's doing out there. His uh, stats are still effective. I don't necessarily think he needs that shot all that much um, to do well out there. So that's just my thoughts on that. Okay, we do have one more game here against the OKC Thunder. I think before we go into these playoffs, I do want to jump into a game and try Giannis out shooting some three-pointers. So we're going to simulate with Simcast. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to play a little bit towards the end of the fourth quarter. If you guys want to skip the gameplay, feel free to do so. But I want to try out this Giannis out there, man, Beeson and Beeson. So here we go, man. I'm going to hop into this game. Okay, here we go. They do have the ball first. I mean, it's a 13-point game, so unless I'm the worst player in 2K history, which could very well be the case. Um, I don't think we're going to lose this one right here, man. But here we go. They got Roberson out there, too. Roberson's another prime example of a guy that's like, yeah, shooting's not his thing. I know as a shooting guard, you want to be able to do that. But he's such a difference maker on defense that it's like, that's that's okay. It's like, it, oh, what's going on right there, man? Yo, why is we even throwing wide open? They stopped that man. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get this ball to uh, to Giannis, the greatest three-point shooter out in NBA history. We're going to pull up right here, guys. We're going to pull up right there, man. Well, I mean, that, was, that one clinked right off there. Probably should have given him some badges. I did not actually do that. But, uh, you know, a lot of great shooters are going to have badges in 2K. I don't know, man. He, I, I feel like he would have every single badge in the game. Because when I put him to 99 overall, he actually was, like, already absolutely just... Uh, he, he went up to 99 overall, guys, when I put up his threes. So, he's so good in everything else. Okay, let's... Uh, this is where it could get dangerous. Right here, man. Splash Mountain. Little pick and pop with him. Because watch this. Damn, dude. That's why I like to see, baby. Come on, man. Knock it down, bitch-ass Brooke. 
Come on, bro. You're going to sit your ass on the bench. Okay, I'm sorry. That was too much. Too much anger. Too much anger. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, speaking of gameplay, if you guys want some more gameplay like this, uh, let me know in the comment section below, man. If you want me to do any sort of, like, my team series or anything like... Yo, I might actually blow this lead. If you guys want anything like that, man, I'm always open to the ideas. Um, it's just, you know, in any case, I want it to be something that everybody's going to be interested in, not just, like, a few people. So, get some of that bitch-ass uh, pick and roll, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's wide open, baby. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. He's got such a hitchy shot. I know it's because he's got really long arms, so it's kind of just how it is. But dang, like his arms are so long, it's hard to knock down a single three of them. We're going to try this again here, guys. Come on, man. We got a minute 47. We got to make this happen. We got to make this happen at least once. Yo, I'm sick of Brooklyn. Yo, I don't want your pick and roll, Brooke. I want, a, I want it from Giannis. Come on, Brooke. I don't want that from you, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Give it back. Give it back. He's also got that mid range. Here we go. Doesn't help we also got Roberson playing defense on us. I'm going to step back right here, man. Curry range just like that. Watch this. That's buckets. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to make a single three with them, guys. I mean, it's all... Oh, my God. Stop that, man. Guys, I'm blowing the lead. I'm the worst player in 2K history, man. Oh, my God. Here we go. Clutch time. That's it. I'm so sick of this, guys. He got 28, 7, and 5. And not a single one's from me. Ooh. Hey, look at that. That's, that's the Roberson we all know and love. He was too focused on Rachel Demita. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is it, man. Clutch is playing NBA history. Step back three. Bam. There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted in life. Okay, we're going to end the game right here, guys. We got our three-pointer. Okay, so MVP on the season was Stephen Curry. I mean, shoot, shot 46% from three, 28 points, four rebounds, nine assists. So it did not lead to an MVP season for Giannis. Uh, DeAndre Ayton is rookie of the year. Dennis Schroeder, six man. Okay, so Giannis, defensive player, 25 points, 12 rebounds, six assists. Guys. This is nearly identical to what his stat line is right now, man. Shot 47% from three, but if you're doing, if you're selling for those shots, it means you're not as tacking the basket as much, and it also means not getting to the free throw line as much. So, I mean, his numbers, they, they, were, they were nice. They, they were nice numbers, but it just goes to show, guys, you don't absolutely need it to dominate out there. Um, the team is the third team, or the third seed in the Eastern Conference, so what are they right now? Like, number two, I, I believe the Raptors are number one at the making this video, but I could be wrong about that. Check out the rest of the player stats out there. So we got Eric Bledsoe at 16, 14 for Middleton, 14 for Brooke Lopez, 11 for Malcolm Brogdon. And how many shots did he shoot? He shot about 16 shots a game. Uh, shot six three-point attempts. So he made about three a game, which is very solid. I would not want him to shoot more than that, man. Just like this guy needs to be attacking the basket. Okay, so first round we do have the Boston Celtics. Similarly, current round, see if this leads to, uh, you know, at least, at least a championship. So far, not looking great as we got swept four games to zero against the Boston Celtics. Was not necessarily expecting that. Let's go ahead, uh, check out these stats. He got, just like, because game one, well, how do you do out there, man? Game one, uh, 17 and 13, 0 for 4 from 3. Okay, that's the honest we have. We all know out there, man. Game two, he had 14 points. Why is this man not shooting enough, guys? This dude's shooting 10 times a game. Like, Milton is playing like he's damn Kobe out there. Uh, game three... Okay, this time he shot a bit more 42 points eight rebounds five assists four steals two blocks three for six from three and that i feel like that that might be the game that he'd be capable of every given night if he was able to shoot it a bit better even though he's still capable of doing that every single night though and then game four looking like this 18 17 and three because let me pull up my stats real quick here guys i gotta pull it up on my end here he does average about 17 attempts per game so i mean he's still getting his shots um, but he also gets to the free throw line about, he gets there about nine times per game, which would not happen as much. So it does make sense. The numbers are either down or the same. We're going to go ahead and see what the rest of these playoffs, just so you guys can see, uh, who's going to win it all right here. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to do some more of these test videos with certain players that lack a certain aspect of their game, let me know, man. I love doing these. It gives me a good, you know, chance to talk about individual players. I'm trying to think of other guys. Like, of course, Ben Simmons shooting the three. That would be a fun one to do. I might've done that in the past. I don't think so though. Um, and just things along that those lines and yeah, so we got the Raptors winning all four games zero against the OKC Thunder Here is also the playoff stats here on the season Just if you guys want to see all that see how Giannis did at 22 12 and 4 2 blocks Um at about I'm mean, he only got shot 27% that time but guys. That's the 99 three-point shot But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, be sure to drop that like subscribe if you're new to my channel and peace out, my friend. Hey, guys, just a quick reminder that I am posting a My GM series over on my second channel, Extra Crispy. Uh, this is a little clip of the, uh, I believe, the third episode right here. Now, I will say I did stop posting it for about a week, but I'm getting back to it now. So, yeah, if you guys want to, uh, you know, go ahead and check out this series. I believe the first episode is on my main channel, uh, Crispy Flakes. And the rest of the series is, of course, going to be on Extra Crispy. So, yeah, if you're interested in that type of content, it is available to see. 
I know I love making them. Just gotta do it a bit more out there. I'm also doing like reaction videos and you know, uh, reacting to like some of your guys' like top 10 lists and things like that over on the second channel, guys. Extra crispy. Link in the description below of this video.